Harbour Community Association, Richard Suggett. It's on uh, page 30. Welcome. Right, thank you. Um, kia ora koutou katoa. Thank you for the opportunity to uh, present, uh, talk to our um, submission on the annual plan. Um, going from the uh, big project to the s smaller community issues. <laughs> anyway, we'll see what we can do uh, to keep you interested for the next 10 minutes. Um, the first part of our submission addresses the uh, what I saw as being, what well, we saw as being in the draft plan. And I'll just highlight a, a, a few things in there that are of more interest than, than others, but just overall, just to say that we're always grateful that there is that money coming towards the Southern Bays, so we're supportive of those sort of allocations. Um, the first one's a head-to-head -head walkway. Um, we don't seem to be able to get much clarity um, as to where the next piece of work is to be. We understood that um, there was work to be done between uh, the very damaged track between Charteris Bay and Purau, but we'd really like to know uh, is that money coming to do that or some other piece of the harbour? Um, very supportive of the continuing investment in the Wastewater Littleton Harbour um, project to get the wastewater out of Littleton Harbour and very pleased that the Council's made steady progress with that. Um, just a slight question mark over the Ferro Avenue wastewater articulation, that's 689000 in the coming year and then a further big chunk of money. We don't know what that's for and as I live in Ferro Avenue, I'm actually quite curious as to why a very large amount of money is being spent on our wastewater there. Um, two other items just down the bottom, just in terms of the track and signage work. Very pleased to have that um, set aside. Uh, that relates to delayed work that's in the Stoddard, um, Stoddard Point uh, Reserve Management Plan that we really haven't had any funding over the last few years, so it's good to see some uh, money coming through there. Now, <clears throat> actually what I did mean to do was mean, mean to start, start my um, presentation by just congratulating the Council on what it has done in Diamond Harbour in the last year. And the two most significant things that it's done is actually uh, renovated the community hall uh, at considerable expense and renovated the Stoddard, historic Stoddard Cottage. And both of those have been reopened and so the community is very grateful that the um, earthquake renovations and, and other upgrades have been done. So very big tick to the, the Council's work in, in the last year. Uh, the next section relates to the, that Strata Point and Coastal Reserves Management Plan um, that hasn't had a lot of funding and effort in recent years, but overall, um, pleased to see that those items I've listed there, some of those are actually now starting to be indicated as being actioned under the, uh, under the uh, allocation in the draft plan. Point four, that's to do with uh, actually green waste in Diamond Harbour. It's a, it's a long way for people to take their green waste uh, around from the southern bays to the transfer stations uh, in Christchurch. Uh, we have in the past, there was, there was council financial support for a subsidy for chipping. Uh, and last year, uh, we went to the community board to get um, a subsidy and got, got some contribution there. We'd really like to see that under continued in the interim until such time as perhaps the council came on board, the waste management people in the council came on board and, and talked with locals and possibly like some, some uh, organisation like the Orton Bradley Trust, whether or not there could be some kind of m small composting facility put in, uh, in some, somewhere in the, the southern base. But in the interim, really, uh, if you don't uh, have something like ch chipping to reduce the amount of green waste, you tend to get a lot of it thrown over the edges into council reserves. It's the, the, the reality. Um, point five, Godly House site planning. Now, I just once again, I'd like to thank the, the contribution of the council planners to assisting the community with the preparation of a community action plan. There was a five-year effort to, to achieve that. Um, we have a, a document that's been finalised. It sets out 10, ten priorities for the community, uh, and uh, we're working through those with the council. So we have a completed document. At some stage, I hope the community board um, formally actually uh, puts that in front of the Council. The other project we've been working on in, with the Council plan is actually the preparation of a concept plan for the whole area, and we definitely want to see that put in front of the whole Council. 
um, and we made very good progress. We're getting to the point now with the final draft of that and um, putting that uh, to the community board. And there's been a lot of community consultation. And once again, it's a five-year post-earthquake effort, a bit like the Littleton consultation process, the Sumner consultation process, the Little River consultation process, and it's been very much driven by an enormous amount of community effort with support from council staff, and we'd very much like to um, talk to the council about the final product. Mm. Um, and the, th the project that's come out of that that's of most importance to us next, having made this good progress on the planning, is something to be done about the Godly House site. So we'd like to further engage with the council on that. Um, we think that the site does deserve something. Uh, it, it, it was obviously an important facility for the council and historic resource. We'd like the site which we hold temporary concerts on to have a, a multi-purpose facility, not necessarily massive, but something that can incorporate indoor and outdoor concert facilities and, a, and, the, t and the temporary cafe that we've now got sort of parked in some containers to the side of it. But um, we will certainly be pushing in the next year for that to be the next project um, we'd like the council to work with us on. And the last point was just acknowledging the, the great work that the council has done and the contractors to upgrade the community hall, which um, is very heavily used for various community sporting and cultural activities. Um, and there's a bit more um, work still to be done in that, um, whether it'll be done this next financial year or, or later, um, we're not sure, but there's still um, accepted by the council staff we've been dealing with that the uh, toilets and the um, foyer area still needs further work. So. That's um, my sort of articulation of what is on our minds. Um, just left you some time for questions. Thank you. Th thank you very much. I mean, I have to say that I always look forward to these submissions. You know, the, uh, because they're genuinely from the community. They've not, that that, and they're very. It's not about coming to the council and saying do this, do this, do this. It's what we can do together, and it just yeah, it does, does hearten me. I have to say, <laughs> very collaborative. Um, I think we'll be able to answer some of your questions in our response to your submission. I mean, obviously, I can't tell you what, what bit of the um, head to head's being progressed through this particular funding. Andrew probably knows it because he knows everything off by heart in his, in his ward. Um, so, um, but, uh, so we'll be able to answer all those questions. But I really picked up also that you want a little bit better communication around some of the projects that we have on budget. Um, in your area and that you as a, an association would be more than happy to distribute them and um, organise for you know engagements to discuss them if people wanted to raise issues. But am I reading that correctly? Yeah, absolutely. It's a bit hit and miss. Sometimes we get really good engagement, prior engagement, and sometimes things arrive out of the blue. Right. <laughs> yeah. But mystifying. Mm, and um, sometimes it's sort of relayed to the community board but then doesn't filter down to us. So. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Pauline David. Yes. So just on that, I know you're, you're running on the smell of an oily rag, but you mentioned um, operational money. You haven't actually asked for any, but I was just wondering, do you have any idea of what would help? <coughs> Was this in relation to the Reserve Management Committee? Yes. That you have yes. No um, they certainly need at least a few thousand dollars to, to essentially uh, buy essential equipment um, and to... 2000 or 20000 No, no, something like $2,000 will keep them going because actually the reserve staff have actually been very good in terms of a specific request for um, work to be done on the ground, managing to find things within their budget. I think I've got a suspicion this might actually have been possibly dealt with. There might have been a decision to actually fund, put something to a pot for the, for the um, reserve the committees, the banks yeah, reserve committees. Yeah, yeah, I think that's true. Yeah. yeah. But, but we'll certainly follow up on mm. that. Yeah. David, did you? Oh, look, I just wanted to reinforce that um, comment about communication with the, the local residents. It was evident today in our bus trip around um, the coastal and Burwood wards where there was the odd project that, and I'm not being critical of staff, I realise there's a huge number of projects going on around the city, but it appears that the odd one is slipping through the cracks in terms of um, you know, local communities not finding out about things until they just actually happen. Yeah. 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 But I, I mean, I think that's something that we're all very, very conscious of is the need to engage communities um, in, in a better way, you know, in terms of what's going on. Yeah. Uh, Andrew? Thank you, and thank you very much indeed for the um, submission. The um, item five, Godly House site planning, I'm assuming that the community wants to work in partnership with the council on this so that we get the, the best result. How do, you, um, how do you see this 
panning out moving forward, how would the Diamond Harbour community like to work with the Council in order to um, deliver something that really works in the long term for that Godly House site? Well, probably you go back some five years now, the year after the earthquake, we had a share an idea session in the community, a very strong one, and a, and a lot of ideas came out and they've actually been incorporated into the um, planning document that I'm referring to uh, for, for exactly for the site. Now the idea is to actually pare those ideas down to those that are realistic, um, capable of achieving in some form of budget with also possibly a private partnership, if we're talking about a cafe, um, and, uh, and working with council making some sort of commitment to actually doing something. So for the last six years, um, the Council has carefully avoided the subject where they're prepared to put any of that insurance money that they got for Godly House site actually back into doing something on the site. And so this plan that we prepared with Council staff has a blank spot in it called Godly House site. So we want to see the blank spot filled up or otherwise the Council to come to us and say, in the end, well, we're just not going to put anything there and suck it up. But we're not really getting any communication engagement. We haven't over the last five years on the matter, except for the fact that actually um, we have received notice that there is a conservation report, a historic conservation report on the site about to be presented to the community in the next um, two months. We've been approached by the community governance people to um, help set up a meeting uh, about that. So we're all you know, very happy to engage, very happy to put forward the ideas we've been working with, um, and it's just a matter of engagement. Yep. Thank you. Very good. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for your time and coming right. in this evening. <laughs> okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you.